Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. Alright guys, it's Brock and we got another episode of All About. This is part two of the Double Feature Friday. This is going to be all about another cleanup crew to get. It's a brittle sea star. Full cool little guy. Prices on these guys about $15. Tank size really doesn't matter. You can have any size. Care level, they are moderate. Temper, semi aggressive. Make sure you realize that they can get more aggressive as they get bigger. Reef compatible, yep, it's a good dude to get in your reef. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 78. Keep your DKH 8 to 12 and your pH 8.1 to 8.4. And salinity is 1.023 to 1.025. Very precise. Keep it right there and he'll be just fine. Max size these guys can get is about 10 inches. I've seen them get bigger than that. I've seen them over a foot long. We have one in our reef tank that has just grown really, really big. Color, this one is a black one, but there are a ton of other brittle sea stars. There's some red ones out there, some green ones. So check around before you just go with the black one. Supplements, they do need their trace elements. Diet, they are omnivore. They're going to be eating the detritus and the leftovers from your fish. And origin, these dudes come from Indonesia. So just like the other sea star, they need plenty of live rock to hide up under because they are nocturnal. And the brittle sea stars seem to be a lot more active. You'll see them a lot more. They like to keep their arms waving all the time to try to catch some food that you got down there. Make sure if you're seeing some problems out of them, maybe drop some pellets down there. I know the ones that we keep, we feed them really good. We feed them shrimp from the grocery store. So they've gotten really, really big, but we've had, had customers come back to us and bring them back because they started eating their fish, eating their small damsels and little chromies and stuff. So watch out for that. If you want a more calm one, I'd definitely go with the banded serpent star. But really, that's all you need to know. Thanks for tuning in on this Double Feature Friday, and I'll see y'all later.